Hello and welcome back to Keepsake. We are in the kitchen. I made my way here while I was offline. And um, we need to make the um, recipe for the spell to change Zack into a dragon. So we have all of our ingredients. Um, yeah, we have the Yulok leaves. We have the Nidula's fruit. And we have the Heaton flower. What we're lacking is a cauldron to cook them all in. We need to drag the cauldron we found in the wine cave all the way to this fireplace if we want to brew your potion. And how are we going to do that? We're going to use the Lazy Susan. Or what? Did, it's not called a Lazy Susan, is it? That's the other thing that spins around. Okay, let's bring it up here. And we will use this to go down. Maybe now we can drag the cauldron. Maybe. We've got to get it up to this level, which means we need this down here, and we do that in this room over here. No, not back up there. Don't go back up there. Go into, yeah, into this door. Because we've played with this area, and she keeps saying the cauldron's just way too heavy. So let's bring that little platform down here. Now that should be, I hope, on the level we need it to be. Yep, it's down here now. So we just need to find out how we're going to drag this. Hey, that's exactly what we need to brew the potion. For sure, it's a cauldron. But how will we bring it all the way up to the kitchen? We will have to sweat a bit. Oh, see, now we can scoot it. Okay. Gosh, this thing is heavy. Yes, it is. Was it? <laughs> you silly. What? I'm sure Zach didn't help one little bit, right? Okay, now we got our cauldron up there on that level. on up here and drag it over oh that scraping sound the there cauldron is ready to go up in the pantry okay let's send it on up there and then we're gonna have to make our way around there because we can't go through our shortcut Let's go drag this cauldron from the hoist to the fireplace now. Yep. So I've got to remember how to get over there from here. And then at these steps.
Okay, let's come in here and make us a potion. doesn't have any hands. <laughs> right. Oh, Zack. You're just so helpful. Finally! I've been waiting for this for way too long. I'll be turned into a powerful and fearsome dragon and nobody will make fun of me anymore. You mean turned back into a dragon? Uh, yeah. I mean turned back into a dragon. Exactly like I was before those students turned me into a wolf. Huh. Okay, what do I have to do now? Okay, boil the Yulok leaves until the water takes their color. Then, add just the skin of the Nigelus fruit and make sure to remove all of its pulp before dropping it in the cauldron. Finally, slowly mix the heat and flower petals into the brew and recite the following formula. Apis infinitus hedia eulachis nigelus tenestus. Well, it looks like it should be ready. <laughs> as soon as I'm a dragon, I'll be able to get back at those students who locked me up. What? I, I changed my mind. Don't drink this potion. It was a bad... Uh-oh. ...idea. Oh, no. Zack? This potion doesn't seem to work. You're still a wolf. Watch him turn into uh, a chicken are you, or something. Are you all right? Zack, answer me. I better get some cool water to wake him up. Um, oh, gosh, no. Not now. Oh, boy. Here comes the memory. My daughter. <laughs> Mother, don't talk. Keep your strength. You need all of your energy to fight the disease. We need you, Mother. I am one of the most powerful wizards on this continent. I have access to the most incredible knowledge ever known. Yet, I can't find a cure to save the one who means everything to me. Were all of these years I spent acquiring this knowledge just a waste of time? <coughs> I can't stand to see her suffering. Nathaniel, Celeste is <coughs> exhausted. Take her to her, <coughs> to her room. She needs some rest. No! Father, can I sleep here with Mom? Father! Father! He just couldn't deal with it. Before Mother died, you were always there for anyone in need of help, Father. Celeste! I'm here! Answer me! But since she's gone, it seems your happiness left with her. Since that day, you've never looked at me the same, Father. Why? Uh, his overwhelming grief. And the fact that she looks like her mother. Not excusing him, but, you know. My poor Celeste! What happened to you? Huh? One of the trial room doors? Zack, what happened during my vi- The potion! I almost forgot he fainted after drinking it! Zack, where are- <laughs> Hey, hello little kitty! That's what are you doing alone Zach. out here? Are you lost like me? 
Do you know that besides my wolf companion, you're the only living creature I've seen in this academy? Talking about Zack, I better get going if I want to make sure nothing happened to him. Well, if you call being transformed into a cat nothing, then your wish has been granted. Zack! How? Oh gosh, the potion didn't work right. No, it didn't. <laughs> I'm so sorry about this. I told you I had no idea how to make a potion. Looks like I won't be able to take you to the upper part of the school after all. What are we gonna do now? I don't want to stay a cat forever! We have to find someone! The only way to get to the second trial is to go onto the roof and enter the trial room through the broken window. What? Are you crazy? This means walking on the school's roof! Yeah, you can do it, Zack. Okay. Now we want to go the other way. Don't go that way. Come back. It took us clear to the other side of the school. Even as a cat, he's a scaredy cat. <laughs> I mean, now he really is a scaredy cat. Okay, I gotta orient myself where we are. I think we're up. Yeah, see up the stairs that we went up before that we didn't want to go up. So now we gotta get over to the other stairs. So we can get up where we want to get. And then I'm gonna have to come back over here for the trial. Hopefully, Zach will walk across the roof like we need him to. I might end up having to walk with him because, you know, he just doesn't do anything alone. getting better at the map to how this school is laid out. A little bit better. Okay, let's see. It was Where was it? Wasn't it right here? Is it over here? Okay, it's here. I hate to say this, Zack, but maybe we can get to the broken window of the trial room by climbing over this roof. Maybe, but none of us can. Wait, you don't mean... I do. In your cat form, you could walk there easily, I'm sure. No, no, no! I will not go on a roof and risk my life! Then we are stuck down here. You might never be a dragon again, and some people might even be in danger, but we... Why do you always find the good arguments? How can I say no and not feel guilty now? <laughs> I'll try it, even though I doubt I'll succeed. Just give me a minute to gather my courage. I'm sure you'll do great, Zach. If I fall, promise me you'll tell the others I did my best when you find them. I... I promise. I'll wait in the trial room. See you there. You can do it, Zack. You can do it. Don't look down, Zack. Keep looking straight ahead. Just forget there's nothing beneath you. And birds. Hey, I should catch one. That'd be tasty. No. What was I thinking? Damn cat body taking over my mind. <laughs> Whoa! Awesome! A dragon! 
<sighs> if only I really was a dragon, I wouldn't be afraid of heights. In fact, I probably wouldn't be afraid of anything. This is way too high for me. I can't go on. Oh well, at least I tried. Uh-oh. Zack, you can't let Lydia down. She did so much for you. You have to do this so we can find out what's really going on in the Academy. Come on, Zack. Be brave for once in your life. You can do this. You are... Whoa! Don't look down. Don't look down. <laughs> Poor Zack. He's been gone for a long time now. Where is he? I would feel so bad if something happened to him. Maybe he fell. Oh no, what if he fell and... <laughs> Zach, that's not funny. <laughs> you should have seen your face. I knew that was mean, but I really need to laugh after walking across that roof. Never do that again. I was really worried. Aww. I managed to overcome my fear of heights, but it wasn't easy, you know. But I felt like I owed you for all you did for me, so I did it. And now, let's see if we can make this bridge move. Yes. Okay, we are going to try this. I've been having a hard time getting it recorded because it keeps... Um, the game keeps crashing on me. But we are going to try this trial once again. Okay, let's have Zach try something. Okay, Zach is going to cross the bridge. And he is going to pull this lever. Crossing our fingers, we are going to have Lydia try something. And Lydia is going to come upstairs. And she is going to have Zach try something. And Zach is going to pull this lever. Making a bridge. And now Zack is going to have Lydia try something. And Lydia is going to pull this lever. Making a staircase. Crossing our fingers that this continues to work. We're going to have Zach try something. And Zach's going to go downstairs. And he is going to pull this lever. Making a bridge. And now 
Zach is going to pull this lever again. Making another staircase for Lydia. Okay, now with any luck, we're going to have Zach let Lydia do something. And Lydia is going to come down the stairs across from Zach. And she is going to have Zach do something. And Zach is going to pull the lever, which will make a bridge and allow Lydia to join him. And it seems like I had to get it exact. We did it, Zach. Without you overcoming your fear, we never would have made it. Aw. Yeah, well, you tried to brew my potion, so I helped you get to the Trial of Wisdom. I don't owe you anything now. Oh, wow. Huh? I didn't help you to get something in return. Wow. Okay. But yeah, it seemed like we had to do it exact or the game was going to crash. So, I think what I'm going to do now is save, just in case. There we go. And we'll come over here and look at this. If this second trial is as easy as the first one, we'll be in the upper part of the Academy in no time. Don't sell the dragon scales before you've killed him, Lydia. What? It's just something my grandfather used to say. Isn't it odd for a dragon to say that? For a dragon? Oh, never mind. Just concentrate on your trial. <laughs> okay, what does it say? Howling out of sight, caress without a touch, whispers in the night that doesn't say much. Slund. The spiritual ruin. Oh. What is that? Slund the spiritual ruin. Okay, what do these do? Reset it? Turns it. And that turns that. Okay. Um, and I have one more question. What on earth is this thing? We, something we can't use yet. Okay, let's look at this again then. Howling out of sight. Caress without a touch. Whispers in the night. That doesn't say much. So I think howling needs to go at the back, if I can find it. Oh, I was thinking that turned it. Never mind. When around me, you're never alone, but when I hide, your friend is gone. Oh, okay, so each poem is specific for each book? And this one turns this, and this one turns this. Okay, the water rune. Celestial Rune. Mm. 
nature rune. Energy rune. This has got to be a fire rune. Yep. This is wind movement rune. And earth rune. So apparently we're supposed to match each one of those with each riddle. So when around me you're never alone, but when I hide your friend is gone. Wow, no clue. Let's see what else we have. Hard as rock, soft as moss. I'm going to say that's celestial. Just because up in heaven, celestial, I don't know. These are very obscure. Very, very obscure. I believe that one is celestial. It's everywhere, but can't grab it. It's in your possession, but it's owned you. If by misfortune you lose it, surely it will be the end of you. That was the celestial one. Nature? I am getting so confused now. Energy. Well, if you lose your energy, it would be the end of you, wouldn't it? That one I remember is fire. This one is movement. And that was earth. This one is spiritual. Let's try that one. And that's not it. So maybe... Howling out of sight, caress without a touch, whispers in the night that doesn't say much. And I thought that was nature, but maybe because it's nighttime, that one is celestial. is okay this one can't be celestial hard as rock or soft as moss I'm a source of life but kill as well and when your last dance comes so that's got to be nature huh Because if you're not up in the sky, then you're buried in the ground. There we go. Yay! 
we got that one. Okay, that's two trials down. One more to go. The trial of wisdom is complete. I just hope the last one won't be too hard. I really doubt it'll be easy, because when I passed in a corridor and heard students talk about it, they all said the last trial was the hardest one. Hmm. Well, I suppose we shall see. So, I will head over and get to that last trial. Probably skip traveling over there because it's just going to be traveling. I am going to save this right where it is. Boop. Just because of my experience. And I will meet up again at the last trial. Elvander told me a student came in his glade a few days ago. Elvandar? The woodland creature has a name? Yes, and he was very nice with me, so stop calling him a creature. As I was saying, a student took some of his bark and ran away, dropping the notebook we found in his retreat. It might be the same student who brewed the potion that shapeshifted you into a wolf who is responsible for what is going on in this academy. What? How can you be so sure it was this specific book anyway? After all, every single student in this academy has books. It could be anyone's. I'm sure these events aren't linked together. Maybe you're right. Only time will tell. One thing is certain. I promised Elvander I would find the culprit who tore a piece of his bark and make him come apologize. And I will. Okay, up the stairs. Past the dining room. Okay, here we go. This is the trial room right here. Let's enter in. Well, where is this last trial? It will start any moment now. What? Zach, speak louder. I can't hear you. Oh no, I know this sound. Zach! What's going on? Am I supposed to do something? There's someone stuck in there. Somebody help her, please! I think that's going to be up to you, Lydia. There is no way I'm getting closer to this burning house. Um... Well, then what else are you going to do? Hang in there, little one. Someone will... No, no, no! Why are you making me go through this again? I'll die if someone doesn't come to help me. I can't save myself. Well... Nathaniel, where are you? Hang on, Lydia. Someone will save you soon. There is no Nathaniel. Is there something we can use? In my backpack? What is this? That's the Nigelus fruit. Common? Oh, those are the figurines. Do I use my staff? Yeah, usually if I'm going to use something, I can use it automatically. So I don't think it's something I can use. I've just got to go. I can't save her. Me. Don't panic. Nathaniel will be here soon. He's the one who rescued me when I was young. And this is exactly what happened, so he will be here soon. Maybe. Maybe not. We can't do anything else. If Nathaniel doesn't come, the house will collapse. Yeah, so we have what to go in. What should I do? In. Go in. Nathaniel, hurry up! Where is he? How come he isn't here? That's it, I can't wait longer. Who knows what will happen if I let myself die in here? <laughs>
Was that it? I just had to go in there and save myself? Face my biggest fear, huh? Lydia! You're back! Why did you leave me, Zach? I didn't. I was by your side all the time, but you couldn't see me. The candidate who passes this trial has to do it on his own. I'm glad to see you managed to overcome your worst fear, Lydia. Why didn't you tell me this is what would happen? And how come you know what this trial is all about? The, the, the Guardian told us. And I didn't want to make you remember it in case you changed your mind. Nothing will prevent me from finding Celeste and figuring out what is going on in this damn school. But I could have prepared myself if you had told me. Yeah, yeah, I found yeah. myself back years ago when my house was on fire. But this time, Nathaniel didn't come to save me. I was all by myself. It, it's over now, Lydia. You passed the trial, so the Guardian should let us pass. All right. So let's go see if they do. Or if there's something else we need to do. <clears throat> so we've both overcome our worst fears, Zach. Overcame his fear of heights. And I overcame my fear of fire, I guess. Congratulations, candidate Lydia. You have successfully completed the three trials. Keep in mind that there are no wrong decisions, only consequences of your actions. By the power invested in us, we now allow you to walk as a student and proceed to the restricted section of the Academy. Thank you, Guardians. <sighs> I was dreaming of a different welcome when I set out on this journey. Well, Come on, let's go look for someone who'll give me back my true form. D and your friend Celeste. We only need to step on the teleport disc in the middle of the room to... Teleport disc? What's that? Teleportation is a magical form of transportation. They'll disappear from here and magically appear in the upper part of the school. Look. Uh-oh. Zack? Zack? I know he's lied to me, but how much? Can I trust him? What does he really want from me? Huh. Friend or foe, he is definitely not what he pretends to be. I must... Come on, Lydia. Let's go see what Nathaniel is up to. Zack, I already told you... Sorry, I, I meant let's go find out what's going on in this academy. Okay. Oh. Now we have a whole new area. Well, let's go over here first and see what's over here. Bunch of books, study area. Oh, a teleportation thing, huh? Okay, we're not gonna take that just yet. What's over here? Can we open that chest now? Oh, somebody's room? A book. <sighs> Of course, it would have been too easy for Celeste to be in her room. Oh, it's Celeste's and room. And she left no clue that could tell us where she is right now. I'm starting to believe that I will never see her again. Now how did I know this was I Celeste's can't room? I to keep this to myself anymore. Lydia, there is something I have to tell you. The, the last time I talked to Celeste, she was really sick. Talk to her? You know Celeste? Well, not really. We only spoke to each other two or three times, and... Where is she? I, I don't know. Liar. I swear, I don't know where she is. And I bet you don't know what's going on in this school either, huh? Zach, why are you lying to me? I'm not lying. I... 
Do you really think I'm that stupid? You've been lying to me since I met you. Aww. I don't know what you are exactly, but I do know you're not a teacher's familiar. I... Letting you out of that wooden case was a mistake. One that I'll fix right now. Uh-oh. What am I gonna do? You'll stay locked in there as long as it takes you to tell me the truth about yourself and what is going on in this damn school. Promise me that you'll let me out first. Then I'll explain everything. Okay, okay. I'll talk first and then you let me out. My name is really Zack, but I'm not a teacher's fun. And here we go with the memory. I'm so glad that you finally found time for me, Father. This view is breathtaking, isn't it? It certainly is, my daughter. I didn't take time to enjoy your presence recently, my dear. I have something to confess, Father. But please, don't be mad at me. Usually when you ask me that, Celeste, it's because you know I will get mad. So, no, I won't promise anything. All right, Father. I... I just wanted to tell you that I found a portrait of Mother in the basement. How could you? I had strictly forbidden you to touch your mother's belongings. I know, but I miss her so much. Elvanda thinks we look so alike. We could have been mistaken for sisters. Is it true? Your mother is at peace where she is. Do not disturb her anymore. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have work to do. No! Don't leave yet, Father! Stay with me! What have I done to make him act like that? I have waited long enough. Give it to me now, Zack. Zack? Yes, Master Nathaniel. But why did you not take it yourself? Give it to me now. Finally, no one's mind will be able to hide wow. anything from me. What are you doing, Master Nathaniel? Just like me, you never really knew my daughter. You are of no use to me anymore. Now, forget everything that happened, young Nightingale. Zack Nightingale? <laughs> where did I land again? Oh boy, where are we Zach? now? Zack, I have some questions for you. Oh, yeah. I locked him up in Celeste's room. So I've got to get back to Celeste's room. I better room. find my way back to him quickly, before he breaks anything in there. Lovely, but we don't know where we are. We've got a teleportation thing there. That's a red one. The one back by Lydia's room was yellow. Oh, we have a bridge here. Let's go across the bridge and see what we have. Oh, there goes huh? the owl. Hey, this creature looks just like the one that flew right over me when we opened the door to the study. Yeah. What's over here? Oh, look at this. Zack? How is this possible? I want to apologize to you, Lydia. I really deserve to be locked up again. You were right. I've lied to you since the first moment we met. I can't tell you how bad I feel about that. Especially after everything you've done for me. Zack, please, look at me. Um, 
How did you escape from Celeste's room? How did you escape from Celeste's room? I started to tell you who I truly was when I heard you leave. Yes, I had another vision. I kept scratching and yelling your name, but nothing would make you come back. So as I was trying to figure out how I could escape from the room, so I could explain myself to you, I felt a presence behind me. You mean a student found you? Unfortunately not. I came face to face with the ghost of the school. Zach, ghosts don't exist. Believe what you want, Lydia. I know it was a ghost. Anyway, I hid under the bed. I was scared like I've never been before. After a few minutes with nothing happening, I took a peek into the room. The ghost had vanished and the door was open. So I found my courage and went looking for you. I was worried. I found you in the teleport room, using one of them to come here. So I followed. Okay, let's find out the truth, maybe. Honestly, Zach, who or what are you? I'm not a teacher's familiar. And I never was a dragon, either. I'm human. Just like you. Just one student among the hundreds of others living in this academy. Okay. Why did you try to convince me you were a dragon? I... well, you know, because of my looks, I never really had any friends. It's always been like this since I was young. Kids kept laughing at me instead of trying to get to know me. Dragons are so beautiful, and everyone respects them. I figured that if I could become a dragon, people would have no choice but to show me respect. So I started to work on a shape-shifting potion. So that was your notebook we found? Yeah, no one forced me to drink the potion, Lydia. I did it myself. Well, a wolf isn't so... Yeah, a wolf isn't such a bad thing to be. That still doesn't explain why you were locked up. After I drank my potion, I fell unconscious. Just as I did after I drank the potion, you brewed for me. When I woke up, I was locked up in a wooden case where you found me, with students laughing about what they'd just done to me. They left a few minutes after saying it was time to go somewhere, and I haven't heard or seen anyone else other than you since. Why didn't you tell me you knew Celeste? Because when I saw you were a new student, I hoped we would become friends, since you didn't know me yet. What does that have to do with you knowing Celeste? Everything. I knew that as soon as you found Celeste, you'd forget about me. Zach. So I decided to say nothing of Celeste to keep your attention on me, hoping you might forget her. But I realize now that all those lies cost me the only chance I had to become your friend. You know, Zack, it is possible to have more than one friend at the same time. And even when Celeste and I are reunited, we can be friends. So there we go. Now, can you tell me what happened in this cursed place? I honestly don't know, Lydia. It must have happened while I was locked up. Didn't you hear anything during your confinement? No, nothing. This is all so weird. Then I will need your help, my friend. We must find what happened here and try to save everyone if they are in danger. My friend. Now that sounds good. There we go. Okay, we better keep going. We better keep going. But from now on, no more lies. You'll tell me everything that you know that could help us in our investigation. I promise, my friend. <laughs> okay. So we've got a bunch of things here. Let's see. What's this? This is where I brewed my shape-shifting potion. So we're going to hey, turn Zach let's back see if we into can make a another human? One. Oh, no. Not until we get a valid recipe or we find out what was wrong with the first one. Okay. What's over here?
Now that's interesting. Zack, have you ever read this plate? Yeah. I gave it a look during my alchemy classes. It says that ingredients can be substituted when brewing potions, but it's all lies. Why? When I brewed my own potion, I couldn't find the Heden flower, so I took a piece of bark from the tree and thinking it would work because of this stupid plate. Oh. I knew it was you. Yes, I'm guilty. Well, you will come back with me to see Alvandar and apologize to him. I will, Lydia. So as I was saying, after I drank the potion, I wasn't changed into a dragon like I was supposed to. Instead, I changed into a wolf. If you would have read this all the way to the end, you would have never drank that potion. What are you talking about? It is written here, and I quote, Magical ingredients can be substituted in potions, except when brewing invisibility and shape-shifting brews. <laughs> no way! Are you kidding? <clears throat> I'm totally serious. Darn. Well, I guess we can take this as a good sign. If we find more ingredients, we can brew potions and try until I turn back into a human. I suppose we can. What's down this way? Anything? No? Okay, we'll go through the door then. Wait, I don't think there was anything more we could see over here, was there? Doesn't look like it. Okay, through the door. Oh. So this is a yellow one. The other one was a red one. Will this take us back to Celeste's room? Oh, it takes us up here. Okay. Will this one take us back to Celeste's room? It's gonna take us up here. Where does this one take us? Back down there, that's what I was afraid of. Okay. So let's take that one again. Come up here. I saw a black one down below, and then there was a red one on the other side of that tower. Let's do the black one. Are we going to go down below? All right. Now tell me what can be useful to know about this room, Zack. All of the teleport pads are controlled from here. Teachers can lock or unlock them using the device which is surrounding us. What must we do to unlock all of the teleport pads? That I have no clue about. Only the teachers know how this works. Interesting. The only thing I can add is that the teleport pads are separated by colors, as you've probably already noticed. This allows the teachers to control where the students can or can't go. So all the yellow ones are lit. What was I going to look at here? What is this one? Huh. Oh. So we turn to... Uh, Lydia? I think you've locked them all. Okay. Oh, jeez. So it turns it off and on. Maybe this will work. I'm not sure.
over here. I'm hoping I've got this right. You've unlocked both the blue and yellow teleport pads. And now I'm going to come over here and unlock the red one. And there we go. Now they're all unlocked. Nice! You've unlocked all the teleport pads. Okay. And we're going to save that there because we want to save that there. All right, so let's go take the yellow one. Oh. Well, let's try a red one then. That's gonna take us up here. Where is this? Oh wow, what's this? Oh, this is interesting. What's in here? Is this an art room? Sweet! They have art classes in this school? Indeed. But there's more to these paintings than your eyes can see. Mmm. They all have been enchanted with magical properties. Magical properties? Like what? I don't know. But if we can solve this mystery of the disappearing students and staff, we'll be learning about this subject together in the weeks to come. Interesting. Huh? I only had one class in here, and the teacher didn't give us any more information than what I just told you. All we did for that entire class was to paint something. Okay, so are we going to paint then? Oh, there's lots of things to choose from here. If I... What's this over here? What's that? Don't touch that! What? What? Why not? Why don't you want me to touch this button? Because I pushed it once. When you do, it starts to emit an eerie light. Oh, well, isn't that so, a good thing? that's it? No. As soon as I touched it, a teacher screamed and yelled at me as he ran to the room to quickly turn it off. He turned to me, his face red with anger, and cursed me to change into a frog if I was ever to touch one of these runes again. Interesting. These runes? I only see one. There's one in each of the classrooms, and he said they were extremely dangerous. Hmm. Well, I'm gonna touch it. There we go. So that's the painting room. Lit up. I'm just learning to take notes on everything. I don't know if that's important or not. Is that all we wanted to look at there? What's this? Oh, we're going to put paintings here? A bridge. Is that all we get to see? Oh, then we have this. Oh, so is this telling a story of some kind? sure we've been able to do this. No, I don't have the proper... Okay. That saves us a lot of time right there. So what are these? Maybe this is what we're supposed to do first. Hey, look! 
The picture I was painting is still here. Well, I know it's not the best landscape ever, but... What are you talking about? This canvas is blank. It's not blank. You can clearly see the area around the school and a sunset that's not quite finished. I'm sorry, Zach, but I really only see a blank hmm. canvas. Weird. The area around the school? Okay, what about this one? Nope, can't do this one either. But that is a time saver. So we just know that this is here, but we can't do anything with it yet. Okay. So that's the art room. What is this down here? We're going Amazing, around. Okay. Amazing. This is just wow. Yeah. Another one of these portal things. Now where are we? Look at this. Okay, we have a red and Stop! a yellow. What? Why did you scream? I just got an idea. You must know where the principal office is, right? Uh, of course, but why? Oh, damn my slow thinking. Nathaniel might be there. And if he isn't, we could find some clues about what is going on here. So where yeah. did you find it? Take me to the principal's so? office. So what? Where is Nathaniel's office? Oh, we have to use one of the teleport pads here and then cross a footbridge that leads to another tower. Which one? The red or the yellow? I don't remember, I'm sorry. I told you, I always get lost using these teleport pads. Hmm. Okay, what's this? What is this, Zack? <laughs> That's exactly what I was about to ask. I know. I'm getting used to being a guide. During the first few hundred years after the school was built, this land was still unknown and wild. At every moment during day or night, a mage was standing guard here, ready to sound the alarm in case of danger. And that thing is the alarm? That looks kind of strange to me. Hey, don't go faster than the guide. This isn't the alarm. It's some kind of game the mage would play to stay awake during night watch. Ah, I see. Did you ever try it? I never could. It's always been locked before. Hmm. It doesn't seem like I can get this game to work. Is that because I have to do this thing here? I wonder what this floating ball is for. It doesn't seem to do anything when I touch it. I guess not. This floating ball doesn't seem to do anything when I touch it. Okay. Well, then I guess we're going to take one of these teleport pads, and I'm going to guess it's the red one. Where does this teleport pad lead? I'm not really sure. You're not lying to me again, are you? No, I swear, it's the truth. I could never find my way around the academy using these teleport pads. For some reason, I have a hard time remembering stuff. Me too, Zach. And almost every single time I used them, I ended up in a place I didn't want to go. And I had to run around the academy to reach my destination. 
Have you tried to use some trick to help your memory? What do you mean? Well, maybe if you associate the colors of the teleport with the rooms to which they lead, it would be easier to remember where they go. Hey, that's a good idea. I'll try that. Okay. So... I can go this way? Is there stuff down here? No? Okay, let's see. Red is gonna go to where? To another red. And we're down here, back by Celestrum, aren't we? Yep. So we gotta learn where these all go. Okay, so this is the only... Okay. So to the balcony. To the balcony. Main area. All right. What else is over here? Is there anything else we can see? That's just the balcony. What was down here? There's that yellow one. Is there anything else in Celeste's room while we're here? Can I get into that thing again yet? Nope. What about this book? Earlier, when we came in Celeste's room, you said you spoke with her a few times. Yes. She's the only one who's been kind to me in this school. She helped me with two or three of my class projects. That's how I got to know her a little. One time, Celeste asked me to take a walk with her, but I refused. Why? Because I thought she was luring me into a trap so her friends could make fun of me. Celeste would never have done such a thing. I know. Well, I know now since I met you. But before, I wouldn't trust anyone. That will change when I introduce you to Celeste. You won't be alone anymore, my friend. Aww. Okay, so what else can we do here? Nothing over there. And I can't touch that book? I want to touch that book. No? Okay, so much for Celeste's room. see where this leads. <sighs> Don't worry, Zack. We'll find a way to change you back to human. No, that's not what's bothering me. What is it, then? These quarters have always been so alive. But now it's all so quiet. Too quiet. It's totally deserted. What could make them all vanish overnight? I never had any friends in this school, but I'm extremely worried about what happened to the students and teachers. Me too, Zach. I'm worried. Okay. Now that we have that established, what's down here? Oh. Okay, a whole area to investigate, and you know what? We are going to save it right here and do those investigations in the next video. Thank you for watching. I hope you've been enjoying. Looks like we have a little bit more to go until we solve the mystery of the Nightingale. I think it's called Nightingale Academy. 
um, anyway, the school here and figure out what's going on in Keepsake. If you're enjoying it, please consider leaving a like and maybe subscribing and we will go on many, many adventures together. Until then, bye bye for now.